Now we are on the track for the under 15. 100 metre final, Ibrahim Luta, Felix Long, Ethan Liu, Adrian Amayo, Sasha Zoya, Melvin Monlay, Brandon Richmond Craig and Samuel Stanford. Nice big field there in this race. And Melvin Monlay, very, very talented athlete. Good uh, meets record 11.03. Boys getting ready for their 100 metre final. Scheduled to go at 12.30. So hopefully they might go a little bit early to save them from standing out in the sun way too long. Yeah, it's definitely creeping up to that 36 degree temperature right now. It is hot on track. You see the Polish flag, the only one. The Polish and... Maybe it's a sign. It is, it could be. A sign, sign of the things javelin. to come. Well, they're getting a big tailwind in the jav, luckily, so I'm not sure how much that's affecting it. The tailwind last night helped Hamish Peacock throw 15 centimetres, I think it was, or 19 centimetres off the uh, Rio qualifier. 82, 81, I think he got. Massive. Which is a huge, huge throw. Needing 83, which is, oh, that's difficult. That is a difficult mark. He has done it in the past. He can do it. He's just got to do it at the right time. This the under 15 meters, and there's Long, Lou, Armeo. Felix Long getting a medal last year. I actually got to coach him in a 4 by one for the New South Wales team. Yeah. Him and... Uh, the athlete in lane nine, Samuel Stanford, joined by two other boys, Travis Barrett and Riley Cook. And those boys won the four by one gold by about 50 metres. An but impressive display, 50 changes, metres. Their changes weren't the best, so I can't claim too much of credit for that. I had them for two, two sessions, so. As long as it's gold. Uh, it was still gold, and I'll take it. Melvin Monley with the fastest seed time coming into this final, 11.62, followed by Adrian Amaro of 11.81. So hopefully wind's still blowing around here. Not sure which direction it is uh, trackside, but I'm sure the temperature gauge down there right on the middle of the track is going to be hot. It's going to be tough to keep your hands on the track in those blocks. I know... Sometimes when it's very hot, it, it can burn the fingers. Ibrahim Luda from New South Wales there, just falling out of the blocks. Maybe the ground was too hot. Maybe it was. It just couldn't handle it anymore. Automatic red card. Given the red. The New South Wales athlete, unfortunately, disqualified. Devastating. Hopefully he can come back. It happens to the best of us. Usain Bolt, world champs. At the worst time. That's the worst time to do it. I've seen people get disqualified Olympic finals. That's tough, but they come back. Now he gets to sit in the shade. There we go, cleanly away, Monlay, the big Victorian, up into his running. But the Queenslander, Adrian Amaya, fighting hard, but Melvin Monlay will stride away for the win. 11.47, the win negative, 3.4. Wow. That is a big, big win, and I think Amaya may have got a bronze there. Felix Long from New South Wales, doing a great job in the later stages. Also grabbing himself a minor medal, but Melvin Monley, 11.45, the official winning time there. Adrian Amayo, 11.76. Taking out the silver. Very tight there for those minor medal placings. He just bounces down the track. So smooth. 11.80 for Felix Long. What a talent. And we got Robbo down there with Melvin Monley, who just ran 11.45. I certainly do, Lynchy. It's an honour to have another chat with Melvin Monley down here on the live stream. And congratulations, mate. A little bit nervy in those uh, blocks. Once again, we're seeing with the red card being shown. But how was it for you there today? Um, felt good. 
<laughs> yeah. You've had a big week as well, mate. We had a chat to you after the relay the other, other day. You, how are the energy levels? How's the, uh, the motivation here late in the championships? Uh, it's all right. Um, I'm a bit sore, but yeah. And how many medals are you up to? Three. Well done, mate. Congratulations. I hope you can fit them all in the suitcase on the way back home to Victoria. Another one for the Vicks. The big V. They say Vicks do it better. Well, they're proving that out on the track here right now. Back up to you, Lynchy.